We'll begin by discussing cardiac tumors. This is a topic commonly tested in USMLE Step 1. Atrial myxomas are the most common primary cardiac tumor in adults. 90% uh, of myxomas, which are benign tumors, occur in the left atrium, where they're classically found. Myxomas, when they get large enough, are usually described as a ball valve obstruction in the left atrium meaning that the myxoma will enter the mitral valve and then leave. And because they can enter the mitral valve, they can obstruct the flow in the left atrium into the left ventricle and can be associated with multiple syncopal episodes. In children, the most frequent primary cardiac tumor are rhabdomyomas, and they are associated with tuberous sclerosis. Overall, the most common heart tumor seen are actually metastases that come from other primary cancers, and those include primarily melanomas and lymphomas, as well as head and neck cancers. One of the common signs with cardiac tumors is Kussmaul's sign, which is an increase in jugular venous pressure on inspiration. There are multiple vascular tumors that you should be aware of for the boards. Strawberry hemangiomas are benign capillary hemangiomas of infancy, and they generally grow with the child initially and then will spontaneously regress as the person gets older. Cherry hemangiomas are smaller benign capillary hemangiomas of the elderly, and they do not regress. Their frequency will increase with age. Pyogenic granulomas are polypoid capillary hemangiomas that may ulcerate and bleed, and these are associated with trauma and also as pregnancy. Cystic hygromas are cavernous lymphangiomas of the neck, which are associated with Turner syndrome. A glomus tumor is a benign but painful red-blue tumor that occurs underneath the female and arises from the modified smooth muscle cells of the glomus body. Bacillary angiomatosis is a benign capillary skin papule that is commonly found in AIDS patients. It's called bacillary because it's caused by Bartonella hensley infection and is frequently mistaken for Kaposi's sarcoma. Angiosarcoma is a highly lethal metastatic malignancy of the liver. It is classically associated with vinyl chloride, arsenic, and thorotrast exposure. Thorotrast was an intravenous contrast dye used before iodine. Lymphangiosarcoma is a lymphatic malignancy associated with persistent lymphedema, for example, post-radical mastectomy. And Kaposi sarcoma is an endothelial cell malignancy of the skin that is associated with human herpes virus 8 and human immunodeficiency virus. Kaposi sarcoma is frequently mistaken for bacillary angiomatosis.